Welcome, Welcome to Dan Brown's Brown Universe. I find it very interesting how it started. How uh, this whole universe, this whole world, everything that is in existence right now, how it all started. Everything in the universe was crunched together into this little tiny ball, into a little tiny thing like, like this big. The densest, craziest ball of everything that has ever existed. One day, in that ball. The pressure got to be so much, so much pressure, that it just poof, everywhere. It was such a huge explosion that even though it happened billions and billions and billions of years ago, we're still expanding from it. Just think about that. There must have been like lightning and fire and ice and space rocks traveling out at billions of miles per hour. It would have been freaking sweet. Too bad. No one was there to see it. In that regard, we should consider ourselves lucky. We are witnessing, right now, at this very moment, the start of the Dan Brown universe. Bang. <laughs> Let's go to some mail. It's time for mail. In the future, let me just tell you that if you want to send me some mail, please send it to danbrownuniverse at gmail.com. Now, I understand that this was the first week, so you didn't know. I mean, totally cool, fine by me. Uh, so, for one time only, I'm gonna go to the comments section. Instead of picking one specific comment that I got, I'm just going to address the one overarching sentiment that everyone has right now about me. It basically goes something like this. Dear Dan Brown, what the hell is going on? Sincerely, everyone. Well, everyone, you ask an interesting question, and so here is my best attempt to explain my reasoning behind what I am doing. I started out over the summer mainly because I was bored with Pokobat as a channel. Now, Pokobat is a fine channel. I like it. You like it. I mean, it's a fine channel. But one thing is... I have some OCD tendencies. I'm not super obsessive compulsive, but I have tendencies. Now, how does this relate to Pogobat? Well, Pogobat, while being a great channel, is very disorganized. One day I might post a video on how to do something, and the next day I might post a video on my thoughts on a social issue, and the next day I might post a video of myself eating a burrito. So, what I have done is I have created a channel, the channel you're watching right now, Dan Brown Universe. What this channel aims to do is to provide a little more organization to the world of Dan Brown. Basically, you're going to see me eating burritos and me teaching you how to do things and my commentary on social issues, but you're going to see it all in one episode every week. Now, before you start freaking out too much, Pogo Bat is still going to exist. It will still be there. But it will be used as sort of my casual channel. Pogo Bat is for like video responses. This is the big show. This is this is what this is the main attraction now. Thank you, everyone, for your question. And I hope that I have answered it sufficiently. <laughs> So I've been doing this vlog thing for a while, and uh, if you've been watching, you may have noticed that there is some consistency in my wardrobe, always a solid colored shirt. But, uh, you know, it's been over a year since I've gotten my last new shirt, so uh, I'm thinking with the start of a new channel, I should go buy some new clothes. Let's go on an adventure! Adventure time! We're gonna go to, uh, my favorite clothing store, it's also a craft store, 
Um, oh, and by we, I mean, come here. This is a uh, duck down so they can see you. This is my friend Michael. Hello. He's gonna he's gonna help us film this adventure. Let's go. So I'm thinking that I'm probably going to get a purple, a red, an orange, a green, and a blue. And are you gonna get anything? I'd like a purple medium, actually. And you're gonna get that. Oh, if if you if you would be kindly enough to get me one. I'll think about it. Hello. What's your special today? Okay, no, no, I don't want them. Okay, I'll have two medium purple shirts. Did you just, was that? I think you just missed the turn. Are you gonna buy me a shirt? Two medium greens. I don't think it matters if we miss the turn. Hi. Are you gonna buy me a shirt? Oh, how do I want the green? Um, dark, can we just get standard, like straight up green? Not, not like any different shade of green. I don't think anyone's there. Where are the shirts? Where are the shirts? Oh my god, this is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. This is picture frames. I found lamps. Lamps. The chief doll and his Indian princess. Which one do you like better? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dude, look at that spoon. Where are the t-shirts? Welcome to heaven. What sizes are these? <clears throat> these are uh, extra larges. I, I don't think. need XL. That XL would be way Oops. too big. So if they're four bucks, it means I can buy. I'm gonna go with like eight. I'm gonna buy eight shirts. Okay. We found the shirts, we bought nine of them. Uh, I think we had like, I don't know, two purple, two black, uh, uh, one red, two green. Uh, yeah, so we did real good, we found a good job. Anything to say? Uh, eight for you, one for me, right? We are back and we are alive. And let me just tell you what the haul we made off with was. I got two black shirts, we got two green shirts, we got a blue shirt, we got an orange shirt, we have a red shirt, one purple shirt for me, and one purple shirt for Michael. Interesting viewer. This is the part of the show where we bestow the distinct honor upon one of my fantastic viewers of being this week's interesting viewer. This week's interesting viewer is Adam Brown of Lincoln, Nebraska. Okay, alright, let me explain. Some of you probably know that was my brother. Um, and I hope that you can understand that this is my first episode. Technically, I didn't have any viewers before this right now. I, I normally wouldn't go with, uh, with him, but um, I, I really didn't have any other options. If you would like to be an interesting viewer some week, please send me an email at danbrownuniverse at gmail.com. Boom! See you next week.